If you're someone who is visiting China for the first time or you're someone who is looking to get into importation, you're going to find out that WeChat is one of the easiest ways to make payments in China. It is very easy to use WeChat to pay merchants or suppliers that you're going to be shopping from because, yeah, literally almost everybody in China uses WeChat. You're finding it out to verify your WeChat account for payments. So you have a WeChat account already. We're not talking of those that doesn't have an account now. We're talking of those that already have an account. And are looking to verify their identity so that they can make payments on wechat okay um in this video i'm going to show you how to verify your identity on wechat and activate wechat pay so that you can make payment and simply use wechat for whatever it is that you want to use it for and um, without wasting much of your time let's get to the video so you're going to open your wechat account and you're going to click on me when you click on me the very first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that your name is correct okay so i'm going to correct my name now because i didn't write my full name on my wechat account before i just wrote abdul on this particular wechat account i have two wechat accounts actually so i'm just going to correct my name on this one and show you how to you know um verify your identity on wechat and activate the pay service okay so after correcting your name, you are going to click on pay and services. When you click on pay and services, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to click on wallet. Okay. When you click on wallet, you're going to click on balance and which art is going to prompt you to verify your identity. Okay. So now what you're going to do is you're just simply going to click on verify now. When you click on verify now, it is going to ask you for your ID type. What you're going to do there's three different sections there. There is for mainland Chinese citizens. There is for Hong Kong citizens and people with Taiwan residents. Okay. So if you're not from China and you're not, you know, you don't live in Hong Kong or Taiwan, what you're going to do is you're going to select the third option, which is the option that says for overseas or non-Chinese citizens. Okay. So this is the option we're going to be selecting. And the option there that I am using is passport. Okay. I'm going to be verifying with my international passport. Now, if you have this PRC foreign permit resident ID, you can use it. But for me, I have passport. So I'm going to be using my international passport. And passport is probably what is going to work for you too in any country just that you're in. Okay. So I recommend you use your passport. So now we're going to click on passport and um it is going to bring you to this page where it is going to ask you to enter your ID info. Okay, so you're going to enter your name, your gender, your passport number. Then when it gets to this page where it asks you to enter your country slash region, what you're just simply going to do is you're going to search for your country. Okay, so in my case, I'm Nigerian. I'm going to search for Nigeria. I'm going to search for Nigeria and as you can see Nigeria is there okay so you're going to they are going to ask you to enter your ID effective date now ID effective date means the date that your ID was issued okay it is going to be on your passport you're going to see it on your passport so just look for it there issue date you should see it there then expiry date is also going to be on your passport I think the issue date should be at the top why as um, just expiry date is right below it okay so you're going to enter the date your ID was issued and you're going to enter the expiry date. And when you do that, the next thing you're going to do is um, you're going to be asked to enter your address. OK, so in the region area, you're going to notice that it is Chinese regions that is there. Everything, most of the options you're going to first see are Chinese regions. What you're just simply going to do is you're going to search for your country. OK. So in my case, I'm just going to search for Nigeria and um, yeah, you're going to enter your detailed address, which is your home address. OK, you're going to enter that. And after entering that, you're going to click on OK. And that should, you know, save the information of your ID card. Now you're going to be asked to enter your occupation, of course, just enter your occupation. In my case, I enter student. That doesn't really matter. OK, it doesn't really change anything. Just enter your occupation. Now we're going to click on next and when we click on next, it is going to ask you to verify your phone number. OK, they are going to send the code to your phone number. So you're going to enter your country code. In my case, my country code is Nigeria. So I'm going to enter Nigeria and I'm going to enter my mobile number. And after entering your phone number, you're going to click on get code. And in most cases, they might send the code to you on WhatsApp. OK, sometimes they might send the code to you on your 
they might send the code to you on your sim card direct message but in some cases they might send it to you on whatsapp in my case it was sent to me on whatsapp okay and um, another thing to note is when the message comes it might not come in as wechat as you can see mine came in as windroot or whatever okay so don't worry it's still wechat just enter the the code that was sent to you and when you enter that you're going to click on verify okay and that should save the info the next thing you're going to be asked to do is to set a payment password okay so that is simply what i'm doing right now that is why the screen is black you're going to send a payment password and you're going to confirm that payment password now after setting your payment password the next thing you're going to be told to do is you're going to be told to upload a picture of your passport photograph okay so if you have a picture saved already on your phone you can just upload it but in my case i simply just snapped my passport okay this is what the passport looks like if you don't know if you don't have one go and take from your country's immigration whatever so i'm going to snap my passport real quick and verify the identity okay now after verifying your passport the next thing it is going to ask you to do is it is going to ask you to verify your face id okay it is going to ask you to take a video of your face so that is the next page now and as you can see that is my black face right there on the screen and um after that is done if it was successful you're going to see a message that says verified and after that it is going to tell you that you have uploaded the photos of your id and just immediately immediately it should work immediately immediately you should be able to you know to top up your balance and start paying with which ads pay okay so when you click on top up now you're going to see that it is going to ask you to enter your bank card in case you haven't entered your bank card before so you can just enter your bank card and now Another important thing is this, if you live in a country where your bank card doesn't work, okay, where you can't top up on WeChat with your bank card, what you're going to do is you're going to need someone to top up for you, okay? You're going to need someone to simply send you funds to your WeChat account so that you can shop with it. Now, for someone to send you funds, you're going to click on WeChat Pay. When you do that, this time around, you're going to be clicking on money okay when you click on money you're going to see an option it is black because um of this of the security features but on your phone you're going to see an option that says receive money you're going to click on that receive money option and it should bring you to this page right it should bring you to this page where it is going to ask you to scan your code as you can see this is my code showing on the screen right now so you're going to save this code this code is the code that um anybody that is funding you is going to be funding you with now in case you don't have an exchanger that can fund you just simply message me i can help you with funding you're going to pay your country's currency and we we'll fund your wechat account for you so um yeah that is how you verify your identity on wechat and um i start using it for payments okay if you found the video helpful make sure you click the subscribe button and turn on your bell notifications to be notified when i upload another video thanks for watching and i hope to see you in the next video